today we are making what? What about me? Do I get to be in the frame? Yes, we're making ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> Um, the kids decided, especially Jackson, that they wanted to make ice cream sandwiches. So we're gonna make a few um, changes to this recipe because typically you would line a baking sheet with parchment, but I don't have any parchment on hand today. So this uh, recipe isn't gonna be a lot about just kind of making do with what you have. So should we get to cooking? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I just realized that this recipe also calls for brown sugar, which I also don't have in the house right now. No, we have So we are, sugar. no, I don't think we do. We use it all up. So we're gonna really improvise with this recipe. If you have the ingredients, by all means, use the ones it calls for. But we're gonna play around a little bit and hopefully it'll still work out. I have a feeling that I wanted to use an invert sugar in this recipe anyways when I wrote it. Invert sugar is like um, corn syrup, or honey, and it'll actually help them stay soft, which is good when you're freezing them. So we'll just experiment, I guess. In 15 minutes, we are hopefully gonna have a really great um, brownie base for our cookies. So while that's baking, we're gonna take the carton, we're gonna take the ice cream and put it in the um, in the ice cream mixer and we're gonna soften it up and then once the cookies are out and cooled, we'll just cut it in half, we'll spread the softened ice cream over it and then freeze it like that and then we'll go and cut them into our individual ice cream sandwiches. So here's what's really interesting. We didn't have the brown sugar, so we used um, we used that corn syrup, and we used a, we used more granulated sugar than the recipe calls for, it. and we used the invert sugar or the corn syrup. So typically, because I've made this recipe because I wrote this recipe, I know that the top is generally like the crispy, cringly part of a brownie. So just swapping out the sugars kind of changed the texture of that. It's definitely softer, so this will be interesting to see once it cools how it works. So I'm just gonna, it's actually already just about the size that I want it, so I'm just gonna take just the little bitty edges off, and I'm hoping that if I do this while it's still slightly warm. It'll be easier. It'll be easier. And I'm just gonna kind of go through, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Shaping it as fast as I can. Before it all melts. Before it all melts. And then Juniper, you're gonna put the top on? Uh-huh. Here we go. Now we've got our first brownie in our ice cream layer. Oh. I will hold the spatula. Okay. okay, oh, be gentle so it doesn't break. I know. Okay, so then I'm just gonna fold up the edges of that cellophane to kind of get whatever bits and odds and ends of that ice cream. And now we have one gigantic ice cream sandwich ready to be frozen. Now we just have to wait for our ice cream sandwiches to get cold. And I think those two are enjoying themselves just fine. Okay, so it's been a couple hours. We've put the ice cream in the freezer, as you can see, right here. <laughs> and so we are gonna take it out and start cutting it up. There you have it. Ice cream sandwiches. Ice cream sandwiches. Yum, yum, yum. Hold on. Yum. Cut me a half. Hold on. I wanna try them, I wanna try them. <laughs> okay, hold on. Here's the ice cream sandwich. Here's an ice cream sandwich. Oh, thank you. Yummy. Mmm! What do you think? Good. 
You can do this with any kind of ice cream. Let us know what you are making at home with your family or what you want to see us make. And um, what kind of ice cream you use for this? I want to say I wanted us to make like a nice salad or maybe a quiche, but the kids outvoted me and so ice cream uh -huh. sandwiches it was. <laughs> so it worked out okay. So we had to make a few adaptions, right? Mm -hmm. We had to change a few things up, but, it's so but it, it still worked out okay. So sometimes you just got to go with the flow, right guys? Mm -hmm. All right. Wrap them up before then. Okay. Sorry. And now I've got to get to wrapping. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.